Well, if you run Linux and you play uh, games on Steam, you've no doubt heard the latest news on Proton. And there's a bunch of YouTubers. It's great. Just uh, single-click play your games. Well, it's almost that easy, but before you're going to try to uh, play games with Proton on Steam, you need to set your machine up for it first. And if you're just running a stock machine with uh, the stock repositories, your graphics drivers are not going to be up to date enough. And so here's uh, the Proton prerequisites page, and I will put this URL in the video description. And they give you very, very, very good um, directions for Ubuntu. And of course I had to use these uh, AMD Intel um, instructions here. Because um, I've got i5 with Intel integrated graphics. And after I did this, I was running Mesa version 18.3. And if you're not running Ubuntu, this same page at the bottom of it still gives you like your minimal graphic requirements. Um, and if you've got AMD, Intel, it, looks, it seems to be. AMD is supporting VR. My Intel graphics are not going to support VR. And uh, it's unclear on this page whether the NVIDIA is supporting VR or not. Um, actually, the only thing it's saying is VR is not currently supported on Intel graphics. So everything is near it. Blah, blah, blah. But do this first. Get your, drive, your, your more up-to-date drivers. Okay. Before you do anything. And like I said, I'll put a URL to this page in my uh, description. Now this button will get you the whitelisted games. And uh, the whitelisted games, from my experience so far, I've only tried Battlefront 2. Um, but um, no problems, no issues at all. It really is single click and play the game, just like everyone says. Um, but what I'm going to show is I've uh, I'm I've did uh, Knights of the Old Republic, and if you come to the Steam Play compatibility reports, you'll see that people have had various amounts of luck, and I'll show you what I did, and show you a weird quirk. Now, here under graphics options. Um, Enable hardware mouse. Some people are switching that to zero, and it's working better for them. I had to keep that at one. This allowed windowed mode equal one is I had to completely add that. This did not exist at all. And the A is capitalized, the W is capitalized, and the M is capitalized. Allow windowed mode equal one. Oh, excuse me. This is in the uh, SW K O T O R dot any the Kotor any Star Wars Kotor any file that's in the uh, where the game data is. So I had to add this command. It's under graphics options in the any, and then full screen equals zero. Now there's other people in the compatibility report that have to uh, change this to enable hardware mouse equals zero. That did not work for me. Um, I had to change that back to one. So all I really did in the any is allowed window me mode equal one and full screen equal one. Now there is something weird. When I go to play this, and oh uh, yeah, let's, oh no, I'm not going to restart Steam because um, I did something. So. those two lines I cha I added this line and I changed this line in any this line was uh, that's that's what I did there so that's where steam so if we go hit and play and this does not work full screen you have to keep it in a window And here's what's weird on my system.
if I do not do this, this game will crash. If in the case of a new game, it'll crash as soon as character creation is uh, is over. And if I load a game, it just crashes. And I have to, and I don't know what's up with this. But if I go up here and I change my screen resolution, I could just change it to anything. Okay. And then come back and change it back to the largest size. This works. And it works every time. No issues whatsoever. Just don't try to go full screen. Leave it in that window. And it works perfect. If I don't go to the options and change the uh, screen resolution, it crashes. Go figure. And I did, uh, I did, and let's just go through here real quick. Yeah, scoundrel, quick character. Yeah, that's look good. Name, yeah, random name's good. Play. And well, let's just let this play. And hopefully screen, uh, simple screen recorder is capturing this good. And I'm just going to play, uh, you know, just play enough of this to show that it does indeed work. Four thousand years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Reven, has unleashed an invincible Sith Armada upon the unsuspecting galaxy. So. In the skies above the outer rim world of Taurus, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Maul in a desperate effort to halt the Sith galactic domination. by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Tras Logo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. You work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about your reputation. How you used to smuggle spice and blasters along the Corellian run. I guess the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. But now that you've signed on for this mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here.
success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override code. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Uh, I'll do a let's play on this some other time, but uh, right now, wow, I just wanted to show that uh, this does indeed work, and uh, so there it is, this is a non-whitelisted game, running on Proton, so it's a Windows game. Running in Linux through Proton on Steam. It's not whitelisted. I did have to tweak it a little bit, and I do have to play it in windowed mode, but other than that, it's. I'm happy. It works great. So, uh. That's the purpose of this video. Da da da. And. I'll do a let's play on this later. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, and uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2 runs natively on Linux, and I have that in my Steam library, so, and I have not played it through yet, I've started, I've checked it out, so, uh, good stuff. <laughs> 